The track in in Chillicothe at first glance isn't much to look at from the outside. And even inside, you'll see the same decorum that's been up forever. Fact is, that's how the regulars want the owner, Donna Gondek, to keep it. We have a, a senior citizen crowd, and uh, we like to cater to them, and they, they kind of like things the way they are, so that's the way we try and keep things. Many of the faces here have been evening fixtures at the counter for 12 or 13 years. It's the cheap, tasty food that brings Harold Weaver back every night. He admits eating every noon meal at McDonald's. I lost my wife, the and uh, I can't cook. <laughs> I never won't try it. So I come out here for supper. Seven days a week? Well, I know. This ain't open on Sunday night. <laughs> okay. So what do you do on Sunday night? Back to McDonald's. <laughs> News photographer and expert rural food critic Don Washburn and myself showed up on chicken night. That would be Tuesday. Don went with the chicken special. It came with a salad, baked potato roll, and corn fritter. I was offered a special order of ribs, usually savored only on Thursdays. After a friendly debate, we agreed to exchange samples of each other's order. I think the chicken's good, but I think you got the better end of the deal. Ribs would be worth coming back on Thursday night for it. Huh? Including a tasty strawberry shortcake, dinner for two came to $18.49 plus tip. The railroad station two doors down and now closed used to bring in people from all over the country. They still have a good crowd at the track in. To help settle the stomach after supper, some of the old timers go down and watch for trains. We join them for a few minutes of standing around doing nothing before heading home. In Chillicothe, Eric Shank, Ground News 25 and 6.